Conching is a dressmaker. She has been working in this shop for more than 20 years now. Conching is a very creative woman. That is why a lot of people go to her to have their dresses made. Rita is Conching's daughter. Every Saturday, she helps her mother by doing small tasks at the shop. Rita, don't you like to go out and play with your friends? It's all right, Mom. I like it here in the shop. I like helping you cut the fabrics or draw the patterns. That's great. You can start helping me out now. I am making you a new uniform. Wow, that's wonderful, Mom. Now, please get me a needle and insert this white thread. My eyes are not as sharp as yours anymore. Conching needs to make a new uniform for her daughter. She has a half meter of white cotton cloth and two printed fabrics measuring three-fourths meter and two-eighths meter each. How long are all her fabrics? Let's look at the problem. That's one half plus three fourths plus two eighths. Instead of solving this problem using pen and paper, why don't we try solving it using three strips of paper instead? Cut three strips of paper such that they have the same length. To show one half, which is the first fraction in our equation, we fold the first strip into two equal parts. We then draw a line along the crease and shade one part to show one half. Next, to show three fourths, we fold the second strip of paper to show four equal parts. We then draw a line along the creases and then shade three parts to show three-fourths. Then to show two-eighths, we fold the third strip of paper to show eight equal parts. We then draw a line along the creases and then shade two parts to show two-eighths. Let us then compare the three strips of paper. If we superimpose our first strip showing one half, with a strip of paper divided into eight equal parts, we can see that one half is equal to four shaded parts of the paper folded to show eight equal parts. This means that one half is equal to four eighths. If we do the same for our paper showing three fourths, we can see that three fourths is equal to six shaded areas of the strip of paper divided into eight equal parts. This means that three-fourths is equal to six-eighths. Replacing our first two fractions such that all three will have the same denominator, our equation may now be written as four-eighths plus six-eighths plus two-eighths. And since they now have a common denominator, which is eight, we can now add our fractions. Doing this, we get 12 eighths. To get its simplest form, 12 divided by 8 is equal to 1 and 4 eighths, or 1 and 1 half. Remember, if you practice often enough, adding fractions will get easier and faster.